Good afternoon, everybody. I, Shamli Soni, is presenting my master thesis, which I had done, which I have uh, done under Professor Kasten Veronik. Uh, it is analysis and modeling of road traffic using SUMO to optimize the arrival time of emergency vehicle. There are three objectives for this study. The first is to simulate the traffic of Mofelder Landstrasse, which is located in Sachsenhausen area of Frankfurt am Main, followed by simulating different scenarios to optimize the arrival time of emergency vehicle using vehicle to infrastructure communication. And finally, the emergency vehicles are studied and evaluated under scenarios such as normal traffic condition and closed lane conditions where multi lanes are reduced to one lane. Uh, since the project area was small and the project demanded important statistics such as arrival time and delay time, therefore microscopic simulation became the appropriate choice. The tool used here is SUMO as it fulfilled the requirement. It was open source, had a good support team and excellent documentation. And for performing the data pre-processing, an open source tool named as QGIS, Excel and Python are used. The demand modeling was done on the study area shown in this slide, where the route highlighted in red signifies the Mofelder Landstrasse, which is around 3.3 km long, and it is either one laned or two laned bidirectional. The, this slide explains the data flow diagram, which is used in this study, where you can see the first block is the master data, which consists of road network which is uh, imported from the OpenStreetMap and uh, the aggregated vehicular count for the duration of 24 hours, which was received in the form of shape files. This aggregated vehicular count was then fed into the gravity model, which is a mathematical model used to generate constant origin destination matrix. This constant origin destination matrix contains 24 hours of aggregated vehicular data and to split them into into time dependent origin destination matrix and trip and route files induction loop data was used this induction loop data in, in addition to od2 trips and dual router there were time dependent route files which were generated and finally fed it into sumo in addition to this, there were trams which were modeled using the public transport modeling, again provided by SUMO, and this tram was set as a frequency of 10 minutes. Now, since the traffic model is simulated, the next step is to simulate different scenarios, uh, different scenarios to optimize the arrival time of emergency vehicle. Uh, the approach used here is vehicle to infrastructure communication where the basic approach is as soon as the emergency vehicle arrives at the traffic light junction, the traffic light is switched to green in the direction of EV and prioritizes the EV. So the next question arises is what is the optimal distance at which this traffic light should be changed to green? For this, we had two alternatives. One. If the emergency distance between if the emergency vehicle and the traffic light junction is within the range of 300 meters then the traffic light switches to green and second instead of defining a 300 meter distance it is calculated using the number of vehicles waiting in front of the traffic light junctions this can be shown in the equations which are highlighted where t free is the time which is needed to let the vehicle pass the intersection is calculated using the number of vehicles waiting in front of the traffic light junction times the time required for one vehicle to pass the intersection plus safety time and this t free is then used to calculate the optimal distance this particular slide shows the map where the highlighted route is the ev prioritization study area this has a total of five junctions, three major junctions and two minor junctions. In this route, uh, the EV was simulated, that is the emergency vehicle, in addition to the incoming and outgoing traffic. A total of three, uh, six case scenarios were simulated, divided into two cases. One is the normal traffic condition and the other is the closed lane condition. Scenario one and scenario three represents that normal traffic where there's no priority applied to any of the emergency vehicle then scenario two and scenario five represents the cases where the predefined distance is set as 300 meters 
and then scenarios three and scenario six are the cases where instead of defining a 300 meter distance the optimal distance is calculated and the prioritization is set for emergency vehicle the next step was to decide at what time line, time range the emergency vehicle should be studied for doing this we referred the induction loop data where the distribution of the traffic flow over the 24 hours of period is shown in the chart where x-axis represents the time of time slices which is per three minutes and y-axis represents the average rate normalized for the overall traffic per day the maximum average measure count per three minute is 30 cars which was identified around 8 am and as it can be seen from the chart that the peak hours is in the morning which is around 10 am till 10 30 so that is the time range which is selected for studying the emergency vehicle prioritization approach now i'll show you this one case scenario where the how the simulation has been done for that case scenario where it can be seen that this is the ambulance which has entered into the network followed by the tram you can see here the tram and these these are the lane area detectors oops sorry i thought that uh, Yeah. This is the video. <coughs> Why is it not sharing? Yeah. We need to leave this one momentarily. Yes. Okay. We'll go to your video. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here you can see this is the emergency vehicle which has entered into the network and you see there's a tram there is also a traffic safety uh, setup done in this network based on tram and that is the reason we have lane area detectors to detect the tram and change the traffic light behind it to red as soon as it reaches the stop and since this is an ev prioritization approach here it can be seen that emergency vehicle is prioritized therefore it gets green signal for each of the traffic lights A total of 10 ambulances were run under two conditions normal case and closed lane in this chart they are being in this slide there are there are two kpis which are studied and evaluated for these 10 ambulances one is the total trip time that is the time taken by the ambulance to finish the trip and the delay time where if the time speed is less than the ideal speed the speed limit speed of the ambulance is less than the ideal speed then that is the time which is considered here you can see for all the 10 ambulances a total uh, there is a variation in the seconds in their trip time and total delay time reason being that there are different traffic conditions example traffic density and in special cases if the tram is followed by an emergency vehicle and since there is a traffic safety light which changes to red the emergency vehicle is stuck behind that traffic light and it causes a delay in its trip duration which can be seen for the ambulance with id6 that it is as high as 439 seconds if it is run under no prioritization uh just a moment. let me on the beeper yep here this is the one 439 um Similarly, the 10 ambulances, the KPIs were compared for the closed lane conditions as well and they were compared with respect to the EV prioritization approach and under no prioritization approaches. This slide shows the aggregated results for all these ambulances and it can be seen that for scenario 2 and scenario 3, definitely there is a reduction in the trip time average trip time and average delay time for both the both the cases that is the normal traffic and closed lane situation definitely scenario three 
where the optimal distance was calculated based on the number of vehicles waiting in front of the traffic light did not perform as good as scenario 2, reason being that the optimal distance was mostly less than 300 meters, which resulted in uh, the delay in the, which resulted in the reduction in the optimization of the KPIs. The third table is the baseline comparison, where when there is no prioritization approach applied and there is a closed lane compared to the normal traffic conditions, then you see that the variance is higher, which is expected that there should be increase in the increase in the trip time and delay time when there is a closed lane present in the traffic situation. As shown in the aggregated results, the dynamic property strategy uh, did not behave as good as expected. So the parameters needs to be optimized. The impact of the closed lane was not as good as expected, reason being in the study area, there were around uh, only 33% of the total multi lanes were reduced to one lane. And therefore, they should be investigated that if the impact of the length of the closed lane on the arrival time, the real world traffic control plan should be incorporated in this model because at present the traffic control plan which is used in this model is edited as per demand model so that we can reduce uh, so that there is no issue of deadlocks in the traffic junctions this particular model consists of foot traffic such as pedestrians no, sorry trams and cars so it would be an another uh, another interesting point to add pedestrians buses cyclists uh, the lane changing functionality still has a scope of improvement, example overtaking using the uh, opposite lane. And for the, right now, the model which has been implemented only handles one EV at a given instant of time. So further studies could be implemented to handle multi, multiple emergency vehicle at the same time. And the data which was provided to us that especially with the induction loop data, it was between June 2020 and March 2021, which was during the pandemic time. So the simulation needs to be run with the higher and post pandemic rates. And finally, I would like to thank the Strassen Perkes Amt of Frankfurt City and the Sumo team for their support during this whole project. And uh, this optimization process involved detailed data pre-processing. So that is the improvement of the master data quality, which included road networks, which was imported from OpenStreetMap. And it had issues such as the lanes were not correctly, uh, they were not according to the real world model. So they had to be corrected and edited using the net editor. And sometimes the junctions which were imported from the OpenStreetMap, they were broken so they had to be integrated as single units so that the traffic junctions could function properly and the origin destination metrics was created using the mathematical model so this whole data pre-processing was time consuming but at, at the same time it is really important for the realistic so that the model is as realistic as possible as shown in the results in the previous slides this EV prioritization approach can save some precious seconds and it can be seen from the results as well that there was significant reduction in the trip time and the delay time. Uh, then there was this closed lane condition where we expected an increase in the travel and delay time which was not as good as expected. The impact was lower and finally the EV traffic impact which was shown in this study should be considered when traffic infrastructure planning is being taken place, and especially where, while considering the closed lane, con, clo, especially when the closing lanes have been considered. Thank you.